Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 70. So today's episode, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of PowerShell. Um, today I was tasked at my job to create uh, folders for our drivers, for our drivers for all our machines. Uh, we have multiple computers on the floor. Um, we have a mixture of 86-bit and 64-bit on the floor as well. So my boss basically came, um, came to me and said, hey Bernardo, um, there's a folder on the network drive that I want you to populate it with all the drivers. And that basically means um, I have to create a f two folders. This is the way that he wanted it actually. He wanted uh, two folders called, let's say, RT Plus 745 86-bit and RT Plus 7045 64-bit. And inside those folders, he wanted it broken down into the USB folder, media folder, display folder, NIC folder, and blah, blah, blah. I said to myself, holy crap, that's a lot to do. Um, so I said, there has to be an easier way to do this. And a big light bulb came to my head and said, bing, and PowerShell would do all this. So um, I opened up my Windows PowerShell ISE and uh, created a file, saved it on the desktop, like I did here. You can basically give it a name, whatever you want. And what I did was, uh, I'm actually looking at my notes, and I created a variable called folder. And I actually assigned this folder variable to the, the root of the folder that I want all these folders and subfolders to be dropped in, okay? Then what I did was I created another variable because he wants each individual model to have an 86 and a 64 bit. So I created a arcs variable and I assigned it to 80 x86 and x64. Okay. Then I had to create another um, another variable and this variable would be models. Now I had to enter all the models, like uh, you know I have some Vetros 200s, uh, Vetro 230s, Vetro 260s. I had um, RT Plex. Uh, I think I RT Plex. 745 and let's add one more I have too many to remember but I'm just gonna add one more and that's gonna be a latitude t630 okay and the last variable that I created would be the make the make of all the drivers okay so I actually call this mix and I actually assigned this USB because it's going to be a USB driver uh, network, or you could abbreviate it to NIC. Uh, display is a folder that's going to be inside there. What else? Um, media and wireless. Okay. So once I did that, now I need to create like. Um, a loop so I would go to each individual variable and create the folders the way I want it so I use the for each and within the for each I created a variable and this variable I call it arc in in dollar sign arcs open the wiggly now if you're wondering what's happening is I'm calling all the variables that are inside this right here everything that I assign inside this variable is going to be dropped into here okay and at the very end it's going to be called and that's when I'm that's when the stuff is going to be created okay then I have to call this right here and I have to call this I have to put it in a constant loop so every time it's looping put it inside another new container and then at the very end it's gonna create it so let's create another four each and what I did was uh, model uh, dollar sign model in 
dollar sign models. Okay, open the print, open Wiggly, and one more for each. And this one is going to be make in dollar sign makes open. And now it's time to create the folders. Now to create the folders, I use the new uh, new item with the parameter of the path. Now the path is basically going to be uh, dollar sign folder, which is this over here. You're basically telling it where you want these items to be dropped into. Okay. Uh, backslash. And now you want it to create the folders for you. So I did uh, model, dollar sign model, space, dollar sign arc. So it's basically going to take um, everything that was assigned to this is going to go here and then it's going to be dropped here and it's going to be created. Okay. And we're going to close that. And then we're going to do another parameter of name. And it is going to be our make. Parameter name and the make. And we want to do another parameter of type directory. So what's going to happen is, is that your loop is going to constantly go into these variables. And whatever is assigned to these variables is going to be dropped into these three variables here. And then these three variables is what we're going to use into this commandlet to create it. Okay. And then it's time to close all our for each. Our for each loops. And then if everything goes well, I'm going to save this. I'm going to open up the root. I'm going to snap it over here to the side. And I'm going to run it. And there you go, guys. I accomplished what I needed to do for work. Uh, my boss wanted me to create two folders, an 86 and a 64 bit for uh, for one model, which is right here. And if you actually click inside of it, you can actually see the folders within it. And I can't actually get into the folders. Don't know why. There it goes. Took a while. But there you go. My display, my media, my network, my USB, my WAN. Um, I'm able to import all my drivers in the folders and I'm good to go. That's it. That's about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave comments below and let me know what you think about this. As well, at the very top, there is a subscribe button. Please subscribe and uh, support because knowledge is power. And also, remember if you want to stay tuned with the latest and greatest tips and reviews in my channel, again, hit that button and subscribe. And thank you, guys. Subscribe. Thank you.